the Chief Information Officer at Atlanta Mission. Uh, it's a relatively new role for me. Uh, previously, I was working on the development side of things, and the two major projects I worked with TechBridge for was uh, database migration and also the volunteer integration to Salesforce. Yeah, I started working with TechBridge in 2018, and the project we started working together on was a database migration. Uh, we were on a very old legacy system that was supposed to be a one and all system, but what we found is that it wasn't really great at doing anything. Uh, so we were always going outside of the system for you know email tools or for engagement with our clients. We were always having to find some sort of band-aid solution that was just becoming more and more expensive. So we started looking with TechBridge about moving over to a new database that we had custom built for our needs and what the cost of that would look like and what that would provide us. And what we found was that not only would the project pay for itself in less than two years, it would give us a ton of additional functionality that we just didn't have with our current system. So we gained some great features like um, peer-to-peer -peer functionality. So our donors were able to build out peer-to-peer -peer fundraising that they just didn't have the functionality to do before. We got some great insights on really how they're engaging with us and across our different platforms. So how they're engaging with our emails that we're sending, our newsletters, our website, and really starting to build that 360 degree view of what our donors want and how we can serve them better and what we're doing well currently and really just kind of how our donors are. In my opinion, it's probably the insight they bring is probably the superpower. I think that they're really good about number one, like you don't know what you don't know. So them having broad experiences across a lot of nonprofits gives them a really good insight into what other organizations are doing, what's working and what's not. And I also think they're really good at asking uh, really good questions as well. I remember sitting down with a consultant for our volunteer management process in uh, our project and he, one of the questions he asked us, if we did a post-mortem at the end of this project and it failed, why would it fail? And I thought that was just a really good question to ask and it really made us take a step back about like what we're doing, are we trying to do too much and what could potentially make this fail? So I just thought that was a really good question, really good insight from them.